If you've been looking for a way to really enhance your Wi-Fi access at your home business, you might be thinking, all right, let's get into a Wi-Fi access point or a WAP. Well, if you're thinking about that, then this access point from Aruba Instant On might be the exact thing you need to up your game for your family or for your customers. So stick around with us today and I'm going to tell you all about this unit and why it might be the right choice for you. Before we get started, if you're into tech hi-fi or movies, be sure to push the subscribe button for new weekly videos. To get started, let's talk a little bit about what this device is and what it is not. So first off, it is not a modem. This does not terminate internet coming into your home and it doesn't in any way replace internet. This uses the service that you have, right? Um, it's not a router. It doesn't do any IP addressing, DHCP, security services, anything like that. All the unit does, what it does do is broadcast and receive Wi-Fi signal connections to devices. This is a device that you place strategically in your facility to expand your Wi-Fi access in that facility. This can be a large home, it could be a commercial retail kind of uh, location, store, warehouse, whatever, right? But very specifically, this product is for expanding that Wi-Fi access. It doesn't perform any of those other duties that you still need devices to handle. While we get this Aruba Instant On AP25 out of the box and take a look at it, let's talk a little bit about the different styles of wireless access points, uh, kind of from basic to, to high end, which is what I would classify this unit as. So at a basic level, you'll get service from an internet provider and they'll give you a box. And this box does everything. It'll be uh, the modem, it'll terminate the service coming in, it'll be a firewall, it'll be a router, it'll do IP addressing, and it'll also have a WAP or a Wi-Fi access point built in, right? So it's all in one, but that's really limited because you only have one box and it only covers a certain amount of area. People will then kind of upgrade into maybe a mesh system as a next step up. This is a system of multiple little boxes that connect to each other wirelessly to be able to strategically place units around a home or a commercial or a retail facility to expand that access of Wi-Fi. Moving up from a mesh system, you get into the world of dedicated WAPs. Now these are mostly power over ethernet, PoE systems, meaning that you need ethernet run to the location. You'll mount these units strategically to cover the area that you need, and they will provide Wi-Fi over an ethernet backhaul without having to have a wall ward or power or anything like that. So everything flows over that ethernet cable to these wireless access points. This gives you the ultimate of flexibility for providing Wi-Fi access to a facility. Now let's talk about what you get in the box. And there are only three things inside the box. There's your wall wart, right? This is power. You get a very interesting mounting bracket, right? And you can see how this could go onto some type of existing facility, or you could put this straight into the wall if you wish. And then you get the actual wireless access point itself, right? And uh, this is very, very straightforward. So You'll notice that on the front, they've got your MAC address and serial number here. It's also on the back, but if you wall mount this, uh, <laughs> you're not getting to this. So it's nice that they actually print this out on the front for you. Um, if you look on the rear, uh, you have a console port here. Hopefully you don't ever really need to use this and a reset there beside it. And then your primary connections are here on the bottom on this uh, raised edge and you've got your ethernet and your power. And really to set this up from a physical standpoint is you will put this into the wall somewhere. You will then plug in your ethernet uh, and power if you need it. But if you're doing PoE, remember it'll power here as well. And then click it into place and you are mounted, right? There's a lot that can go into the design of where you place this unit. That's a little bit out of scope for this particular discussion. But if you have a large environment and you have a lot of these access points, you'll want to have a, you know, a very detailed uh, design for where you put these things at. However, if you're just going to do one per floor or something like that, then it's pretty easy to pick a central location and mount these. And, uh, and we'll get into that next and show you exactly how to go about mounting this and then setting up the software. And the software is the key point here. The physical mounting is easy and the software you'll see is also easy. While we go through this physical install, I want to talk a little bit about the key features of this device. 
The AP25 is the flagship for Aruba Instant On technology. This is their number one highest performing unit. This is a Wi-Fi 6 WAP and it supports all of your Wi-Fi 6 and 6E devices. So pretty much anything that exists today can connect to this and talk back to the network. The unit features a 2.5 gig Ethernet uplink port. This is important because you can saturate a 1 gig link because this will support up to 100 different devices connecting and that can produce a lot of traffic. So when you aggregate all of that through this device and then try and jam it through that Ethernet cable, you want as much bandwidth as you can get on that uplink port. 2.5 gig is you know, 2.5 times the speed of a one gig port. So that makes it a lot better from that throughput point of view. Now you do need a uplink port that will support that speed. But if you do have that, then you're going to be in business for a much larger set of bandwidth there. Now we're going to run through the setup of the WAP in the software in the portal. So this is the Aruba Instant On Portal. I've just set up my account. You can see here, and this is uh, what you see at a brand new account setup. So let's gonna, let's set up a site for this. And we're going to do an access point, and you can see that you can do switches and access points. And uh, yes, I'll be part of a existing gateway and firewall. Yep. I have done so. It is up and running. The lights are on. Now we input our serial number so that it can identify the device. We search. It finds it there pretty quickly, and we will add this device. And now it's going to ask us for a uh, username and password. This is actually the SSID settings. So set this to whatever you need your SSID and your passcode for that to be. And then hit continue. And it'll ask about your location and the name of the site. And go and you are done. All right. So I've put in all of the credentials they asked for. And now the site is being created. All right. Everything is okay on McCoy Aruba site. Let's look at the uh, active network and what we've got here. McCoy Aruba, status active. Okay, and now we are in the process of installing software. So we'll let this run through until it gets everything updated. Okay, the software has installed, it has synchronized, and we are now in a active state. Uh, we have zero devices connected, but I'm going to grab my phone and go ahead and connect now to this Wi-Fi access point. It did use the name uh, before as the uh, SSID, so that is available. And uh, almost immediately, my cell phone pops up here and is shown here in uh, in the settings. Now that we have a client connected and an active uh, Wi-Fi network. Let's run through these different sections again so we can see uh, the network here. Different options that are available. We can see the clients that are connected and we have one at this point. This shows the amount of data transferred. Obviously I haven't done anything yet. Still refers to the one connected client and that is hot linkable back to the device. And then the topology here, uh, we have the one device that is up and running. Well, there you go, folks. Everything that you need to know about the Aruba Instant On AP25 WAP wireless access point. As you can see, it's really easy to set this up. It's super fast to go from soup to nuts, from nothing to everything with this device. And that's assuming, of course, that you have a network in place already. Really, there's just one connection, set up your account, set up your SSID, and go to town. It's really, really straightforward. And even the beginner would be able to handle this. Obviously, if you have a bigger network, it might be a little more complex. But if you're just running straight internet with a number of wireless access points, and you've got a PoE switch in place already, this is super, super simple and super, super fast. All right. Thanks so much for joining today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, ring the bell, do all those things, and we'll see you in the next one.